when we're talking about venous insufficiency, what we're talking about is that the, the veins in primarily the lower extremities are no longer able to hold their tone. And so what happens is uh, the blood has a hard time getting back from the feet back up to the heart. Now typically there are uh, valves in the veins uh, that assist the blood to, it moves up and then when gravity comes back down it gets stuck on the, va on the valves and then it slowly works its way up the body. Now when the valves lose their uh, tone the, the blood will start to pool in the legs and when that happens it can lead to uh, edema in the legs because the fluids are just sitting in the legs um, and also what happens is uh, there's not very good blood flow going through the legs now um, because when you have that pooled blood, fresh blood is having a hard time getting its way in. And so what happens is uh, you can lead to a brown discoloration. And you'll see it. It'll go from like the ankle. And you'll see brown to purplish discoloration going up the leg. And the further up it goes, that's further up that you have the venous insufficiency. And this puts patients at risk for developing stasis ulcers, which are uh, basically sores that develop on the leg because there's not good oxygen supply, there's not good nutrients, there's not good energy, and so, the, and so you just develop almost like little pressure ulcers, except for instead of being pressure ulcers, there's stasis ulcers, because there's the stasis, the blood isn't moving, it's in stasis. You also put the patient at risk for cellulitis, and what this is, is an, cellulitis is an infection of the skin, and the, specifically the fatty tissues of the skin, and they're at risk for cellulitis because you don't have that good blood flow. So you're not getting the white blood cell count or the white blood cells to where they need to go and the vitamins where they need to go. And so cellulitis would be, you'd see the extremity would be swollen and red and warm to the touch because there's an infection going on there. So what do you do for patients with venous insufficiency? Well, you want to elevate the legs. And by having the legs up, and this is at night, you want them to be elevated while they're sleeping, maybe six inches, and throughout the day, periodically, elevate the legs to let the fluids and the blood get back up through the body. And when that happens, the edema is going to come down. And once that edema is down, you want to go ahead and put compression stockings on. And these would be prescribed for the doc by the doctor or the pharmacist. And what this is going to do is it's going to keep the legs tight. It's going to keep fluids from wanting to leak into the legs and cause more edema. And it's going to help the blood to work its way back up. You'll see here though, you want to teach them to avoid crossing the legs because this will put pressure on those valves. It's going to just make it harder for the blood to get through. And it says avoid tight clothing. That doesn't mean avoid compression stockings. That means avoid clothes that may be tight at the knees. You know, because then that's going to, maybe it's tighter at the knees and not from the knees down. So if it's tight at the knees, it's going to swell up below the knees. So, uh, here I talked about the stasis ulcer. That's where they develop that ulcer because they're getting bad blood supply there. So if that happens, this is a long-term treatment because they're, they're not going to be having uh, better blood flow anytime soon. This is a chronic issue. You want to make sure they have good diet and vitamins. And uh, you're just gonna, it's going to be a long-term uh, wound care. So changing the dressings regularly, maybe every three to five days. Not too often that you're ripping off layers of the skin each time you change it out. And sometimes it needs a wound back. With cellulitis, this is typically something where a patient will need IV antibiotics. They'll go to be discharged and they'll go home with PO antibiotics. And then wound care if there's actually a wound there. Now, quick tip. How do you know peripheral vascular disease versus um, arterial vascular disease? Uh, or which, how do you know whether to put the legs up or down? Well, it's easy. This is peripheral vascular disease. It's a venous problem. So what do you do with the legs? Look at the V. You put the legs or the feet up. Okay, and if it's an arterial issue, which we'll talk about arteri arterial uh, vascular problems later, if it's arterial, you want to put the legs down. The reason you want them up is because you want to have the feet up so that gravity can bring that blood from the feet back to the body. So remember, venous insufficiency, put those legs up.